Hi, this quick little video. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm going to clear the bench up this morning, but I thought I'd give you a quick review on on uh, Captivu binoculars. There's a camera attached to a pair of binoculars. And uh, I've only recently got these. I was out the other day fishing, and it was a superb sight of a, a catch Gaffrey catch under full sail, good breeze, hammering down the river towards me where I was fishing. And I went and got my video camera, I think, oh, I'll make a lovely clip, you'll be pleased to see that. And by the time I come out the cabin and thought he'd be getting closer, well, he turned around and gone the other way. It was a great shame, so I can't show you. But through me normal binoculars, um, it was a ter terrific sight, and I thought, well, something like this might be interesting. Anyway, there was a a boot or garage sale, garage sale at the weekend in my village and this was on one of the stalls and I thought oh something like this might be handy you can you know see things and take a picture didn't look that expensive anyway I said to the lady how much and she said three quid so I thought well, I can't get wrong with three quid if I if I throw them in a dustbin <laughs> and you know how tight I am but uh, Oh, I'm not too impressed at all. This is a typical example of plastic Chinese. I mean, the idea of, of a, a camera on a pair of binoculars is pretty good, but ergonomically they're, they're ridiculously awful. And the Achilles heel with this thing is it takes two AAA batteries. Now, I didn't get instructions, but by what I've read, the instructions state... Take out the battery when not in use. Now a lot of equipment does this. Safeguard themselves in case the batteries leak. But in this case, if you don't take out the batteries, they'll be dead in two days because they drain even though the thing is switched off. And that's the Achilles heel. You push this button and you've got a tiny little display you can hardly see. And you go through a sort of a, a different modes. You can record 10 seconds of video, or I don't know how many shots, and you can put a card in to increase its memory. But, um, and then when you take a shot, you might just hear this tiny little beep, and it comes up and it's taken one photograph. But it doesn't focus like you do with the, that's your focusing ring. They're not terribly good. This is in the way. They're not terribly good binoculars. They're plastic. Uh, the most annoying thing is, is it has a timeout function to save on batteries. And after a minute or two, it'll go out or switch off or nearly off. And of course, you're looking at something and you think, oh yeah, that's fine. And you, you push the button. And if you're outside, you wouldn't hear that tiny little beep. And you think you've taken a picture and you haven't. So you have to take it down, have a look. Yeah, look, it's gone off. You have to have a look and switch it back on again. There we go, it's back on again. Well, how long have I been waffling? A minute, a couple of minutes? And it switches itself off. How damn annoying is that? Anyway, I can't complain for what I paid for it. Um, so I've no complaints there. But I think these retail at something like about 40 odd quid. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, 2 I'll give it. 